Curry gone. Hey, that's my mom. Hey, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Let's just read the chat. I don't know what's going on. Read the chapter. <laughs> Do you think this is unfair? And then, bro, and, and Daksha. <clears throat> Do you think that whatever answer you give, you won't be able to escape the situation? Those who died at your hands must have felt the same way. Most humans are capable of looking at an issue from the opposing perspective. And they look back onto their momentary anger and regret. They look onto their momentary anger and regret. Not many humans shriek sincerely self-reflecting moments until their final moments. I think because of the Vajras, there has been a terrible misunderstanding, Kuberanim. I only recently co collected all of the Vardras. I and not only that I was wait, not only that I was never capable of summoning Indra Nim. I received Indra Nim's oracle in the past. Don't you think everyone would have known this planet was protected by the king of the gods? I was merely receiving advice from the planetary gods who had ties with my ancestors. Speaking lies is also a sin. It is not a lie. How would I dare lie in front of you, Kuber Nim? If it was really just the planetary gods who gave you an oracle, I would be able to know the truth the truth without your testimony. But the reason I'm going as far as to ask you is because someone equal or higher than me is behind all of this. That if you were simply banned from talking, you should have not been able to say anything, but you actively denied it. That means you were either instructed to lie or... No, that is not it! Ugh, who's yelling? It's not Indra Nim. I know the true mastermind. Is it Anana? Where? What is this? Where did that woman come from? I released her for a moment because she seemed to be having trouble breathing. Did she actually have to say something to Kubera? Please see the truth, Kubera Nim. I am someone who has no reason to lie for the king. Anan seemed to consider accepting the king's apology, but I can't even do that. If possible, I want the king to die right now without receiving any forgiveness. Ah, uh, she. She said, pack him up. I put roll up in a spliff. He's done. We smoking on Daksha. That's crazy. Insolent. How dare she say such words to the king? Stay put for now. We are in front of a god, you know. I don't, I don't know why I did that. Hmm. I see that your life was one of deep resentment but such judgment is not part of my jurisdiction if there's a true master mindset of indra tell me the name he is a being whose name is not known is that even possible if kubera can't get the name through insight it means the being is at least fifth zen there is no such a god of course kubera nib might know him but at least among humans if we're not sh we're not sure if he what sorry but at least among humans we're not sure if that being is even a god but there is a temple a temple about half a day of horse riding from here this temple the temple of time was that a temple for vishnu nim no vishnu nim is the temple of resurrection everyone forget everything you have seen seen and heard here if you speak of this outside of here, you will gain bad karma. The word used here is sin karma gained through mouth. Bad karma saying that things lead to bad, a bad karmic effect. I, I got it. Grab. You will have to accompany to that place. Wait, Kubera Nim, me too. What a chaotic situation. So that human hasty king to the point she wants to kill him right now, but the sign of revealing the mastermind to the god is more important. Anyway, since Kubera is heading there, I have no choice but to follow. That was that was interesting. I'm messing with this. The competition. If, if you're wondering why I'm holding the mic like I rock the mic, cause I rock the mic on the stage, cause I'm a rapper. It's cause I'm a rapper, bro. You guys, you know that. I got bars. I buy my album. I can't rap. <laughs> but if you need me on the bass clarinet, I got you. The competition was weird from the beginning, and now it ends like this. The king's force was co uh, was correct. It was an intruder. How were they managing since the security? Venerable King, this 
For God that is both enough and under that woman shut your mouth. Kuberdinip himself took them with him and left. How could a mere human dis uh, express disapproval of that? Ultimately, they are they are victims, and someone who can only and I am someone who can only apologize and ask for forgiveness. I am not in any position to blame them. The king blames himself and regrets so much. If I were them, I would have told him that I forgave right away. Even if they are the descendants of the Night Order, remaining and standing while the king kneels in front of them, that's just too much. Yes, those insolent bastards. They were even holding their heads up high in front of Kuberanim. They even lack the most basic level of courtesy. So, venerable king, do not be so hard on yourself. You experience such things at such a young age. No one would be able to make a better judgment in that situation. Maybe it was because of the Vargas that Kuberanim have held preconceived suspicions against you and spoke like that we do not have that way we do not think that the king has done anything deserving criticism right even if he won't be forgiven by them yamanim who is fair and just won't see you as a sinner mm, interesting idiots if the gods were so fair and just why would the world be screwed up like this don't keep saying things like that out loud it's said that in the underworld, all of the karma from even a single word you utter is judged. You know, Art Ad Ram, and I didn't notice this a couple chapters earlier before, but I didn't realize that the, you know the guild gets built later off the name. I I'm I'm ashamed to not have noticed that. I, that's something that I think I should have picked up on even as a first time reader or first time experiencing the chapter like this. All that is. Is just what they say to, to scare and control humans. I heard that in the underworld they are busy. They are busy enough trying to judge you based on your big sins, and blasphemy doesn't even really exist. Don't say such weird things. I didn't hear that. And that seemed to know that woman was his intention uh, in participating in the competition in the first place to try and approach the king like assassination. He didn't seem like that type of person. What do you mean? saying he didn't seem like type of person about a guy who climbed to the top by killing all his opponents you have to see in a different light than a competition where they can be revived right away even so a personality unsuitable for killing people that's what people like you are called not anon he seemed to have no qualms about destroying his opponents with excessive force even if it's a competition in which resurrection is possible if someone kills and they fix plans on an opponent they can easily defeat you have to say that guy has problems. He's angry. He's a little excessive. I'm going to look at all innocent there. Look at the night sky. It was here. There was someone who gathered and gave instructions to the planetary gods. I was hiding nearby. You weren't noticed while hiding nearby? Kanara Nim hid me. Kanara did? Yes, the king of the Kanara clan. She is the one who signed a contract and gave me the San Yoga Kanara spell. I can't know whether Indranim intervened after the king collected all the Varjas, but without a doubt, the being who was in this temple was the one who used the planetary gods to intervene even before that. And that's what Kroha called venerable time, right? Can you describe personal experience? I cannot. I tried calling Anand about it over and over, but it didn't work. Perhaps he is a man and he has... Bro, is that Rao? All I can express. There's no way. This is the same place in the past as season three, episode two thirteen. Yeah, I remember that. I'm not, even I'm not that bad. That's crazy. Who am I looking at? Yo, some help. Comments help me. I hope. You know, we got the CBLs here. We got the priest of fire showing love. Shout out to the Patreon gang and the fifth Zen God. Shout out to the tier three subs Abdel, Chromizone, Revenant, Triss, Scope, Shadi to your body, Simi, Miles, Sunny Kata, Polly, and Kyan. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.